This is a great crowd. Thank you very much all for coming. Our next speaker is, our next speaker is one of the heroes of the election integrity movement, Bob Fetrakis, who's a professor in Ohio, who was one of the people who exposed a lot of the stealing of the election in Ohio in, the, in 2004. He's written books, he's made speeches, films, he's been involved in, in many fronts, including legal battles uh, in, where, you know, he's fought the election, the election frauds in many ways in 2004, more lately in 2012, and I hope that you're as inspiring as our last speakers, and I know you will be. <laughs> I don't know if I'll uh, be inspiring, but uh, my message is uh, we should take this challenge on in uh, post-constitutional America, and we should make it fun to expose these war criminals, these people that are shredding our Constitution, and that my vision is one of that, those great days in history. It's like, oh, they'll never get rid of the East German Stasi. They're too vicious. They have files on everyone. And then I looked up and there was a million people surrounding the building as they dove out the windows and went inside and liberated the people's documents and found that that spy apparatus can be destroyed by people power. So I think every day, you know, since we know they have carrier IQ on our, our, our phones, uh, right? is that uh, I think every, every day we should say hi to the NSA. Like, we're watching you. You think you're watching us? We're coming for you. So, <laughs> but look, this is post-constitutional America. I mean, let's look at some of the analysis, right? A group of far-right uh, religious fundamentalists uh, in the 1980s came to power uh, with uh, what was called a useful idiot, Ronald Wilson Reagan, uh, representing the corporate forces. Uh, and in that uh, situation, what has now happened, why they've had to move to post-constitutional America, and why we're in the fight of our life, is because we won the cultural war. The right-wingers came in. It's because they didn't like women owning their own bodies. They've lost that war even though they're getting really desperate now as they're going down to defeat. And that they were, they were pro-alcohol only for sacraments and NyQuil at night. Uh, but they didn't like marijuana. We won that war. Medical marijuana. Colorado, Washington. The environmental war, we won that. Gay, lesbians, uh, bisexual, transgender. We won that war. We, the counterculture, has prevailed. We're a diverse people. We're a tolerant people. We're a peaceful, environmental uh, people who believe in sustainability. So what do they have left? the corporatists. And we know from Mussolini who defined corporatism uh, as fascism. The two words he used, right? Uh, what is fascism? Corporatism and illiberalism. We're liberal, diverse, tolerant, and now we've got to go after those corporate forces because that's all they have left. These artificial entities, these, you know, oh, we're persons. I mean, they're vampires that are sucking the very substance out of our communities. There's nothing wrong with Detroit that their patterns of investment and disinvestment didn't kill that city. It's American exceptionalism. There is no labor party. There is no socialist party. There is no people's party who said, build jobs in factories in an industrial center instead of going to communist China and exploiting poor people there. Right. We're for sustainability in China, sustainability in Mexico, a living wage for all people on this planet. Yeah. So when they go to suck the life out of Detroit, we stand with them, who's the only company that's built an auto factory in Detroit that has one in the city is Fiat, which bought up Chrysler. 
because in Europe they actually build factories yeah. in industrial centers. So in order to keep us from realizing uh, how these artificial zombie vampire enemies, and I think that's why we have so many movies on them, because every <laughs> single day they suck our substance out of this. What they've done is the following, right? They destroyed. We used to be in the in the 60s. When I was growing. Up, we were proud, right? Evil countries. The the Soviets tortured people. We didn't, right? In our constitution, we were the first, you know, post medieval nation in the Eighth Amendment. No cruel and unusual punishment. And then they came, Dick Cheney and David Addington, and said, right, it's not really torture, and John Yu, unless a major body organ fails. So the very principles of Nuremberg, the very principles that we pushed in the covenant against torture, they made us a torturous people. And we reject that. We reject it, we refuse to tolerate it, and we know that torture is torture. And then they came after, right, our Fourth Amendment. Uh, how did they do that? Again, it's David Addington, uh, who works for Dick Cheney, right? He writes a secret memo that no one's seen because it's secret. <laughs> and that secret memo allows people to secretly go to a secret court and issue secret warrants against us that we can't quash or challenge because it's secret. We're saying none of that is secret. This is still America. We still have probable cause. Let them articulate why they're coming after us. That is the Constitution. Many of you in here are vets. You swore oaths to preserve and defend the U.S. Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Let's get them. Let's get them. We're not afraid of them. They're spreading the Constitution. Let's go after them. And they've destroyed the First Amendment, them and their Project Mockingbird, right? Where they bought up, the, uh, the New York Times recently admitted, oh yeah, we got caught up in that. You know, the CIA came in and hired at 40, 50 newspapers reporters. We have and we will continue to use the media, to use the internet, to use the digital revolution to link up as we're doing here to report the real facts of this country. We don't support drone wars. We don't support a president on Tuesday with some strange matrix coming in and going, I've got to kill a wedding party today in Yemen. I've got to kill U.S. citizens. We believe in due process. Right. We are in the fight of our life because these are universal and truly American values in the finest sense. And these people are, and let's use the F word, they're corporatists and they're fascists. Yeah. And it starts right here. Future historians are going to record that we gathered here today and we said the fight back begins here and now yeah. against yeah. Walker, against yeah. Governor Kasich, yeah. against all these stooges yeah. that worship yeah. allegiance to artificial corporate enemies. Remove their charters. Take back America. Thank you.